Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, grand risings. Give thanks and praise that you were able to wake up this morning because some people didn't. It's D at D's Village. Like, share, comment, subscribe, interact. I recently did a vlog saying that I went to um, Tipper Garage, which is a market within the Gambia. Very, very busy market. I think most of them are quite busy. Anyhow, these are some of the things that I purchased while I was whilst I was there. Um, so currently the rate is to one English pounds or one English pound. It's around oh I don't know anywhere from sixty two point five to about sixty five Dallasi or Dallasi. I never know which way to say it. So this grapefruit here, this grapefruit is 25 Delassi for one grapefruit, but you can pay up to 35. So anywhere between 25 and 35 Delassi for one grapefruit, depending on where you go. So this is a bunch of bananas and in a typical bunch you will get around so typically there are three or four types of bananas that appear to be sold in the Gambia apparently they're all grown here and on average if you're buying a small bunch you get between four and six and they are around, oh, depending on the game where you go, around 50 to 60 Delassi. Mm -hmm. Th these are ground nuts, or we call them peanuts. They're just roasted peanuts. You can get them flavoured, you can get them caramelised, you can get them all sorts. But this particular bag here is around 5 Delassi depending on where you go. If you're in a more touristy area, it'll be slightly more expensive. <clears throat> what do we have here? We have um, several lemons. Again, you, you, you might get three for about 30 Delassi. You might get five or six for about 70, depends. These are the really small apples. Um, they're generally around 10 Delassi per apple. I prefer these ones. I don't like green apples. You will find the pink lady apples, which I believe come from South Africa. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm not sure how much the green apples are because I don't purchase those. So this bag here cost me 50 Delassi. So here we have tangerines, and tangerines are, um, they're not grown locally, and they're at, on average between 25 and 30 Delassi for one. So if it's 60 to the pound, 60 Delassi to a pound, then that's, oh my maths is atrocious, but then that is um, 30 pence for one. So here we have oranges here and this particular bag of oranges was a hundred Delassi so 20 per orange I'm just going to move on to the vegetables now now this is okra already sliced up in the bag um, obviously you can buy it as a singular okra or by the kilo which is how they sell most things but um for me i'm not a great fan of okra i do eat it so i'm going to buy it already chopped up because i'm not going to add anything insult to any injury of mine <laughs> it's just a metaphorical version of speech so that's the okra which is obviously you know full of lots of vitamins Tomatoes are sold by the kilo 
Um, I think these were around 60 Delassi. My memory evades me, I can't tell you how much they were. <coughs> so again, this is some um, chopped ca carrots with a bit of small amount of beans in there with um, some of this. So that, that, that is 10 Delassi. So you can see, you can shop according to your budget. You can sh shop according to what you can afford. So spring onion. They, they, they come here um, quite small. Hold on, looks half gone. But anyway, they're around five to um, 20 Delassi for a bunch. You only get two or three in a bunch, literally. <clears throat> These green beans here, they come, they come prepared like this in the bag and they are between 10 and 20 Delassi per bag. So it's only a small amount. Now these I love, so I, I buy lots of those. Garlic, a head of garlic. This one's seen better days. I've had it in the fridge a good couple of days. Um, they're around 20 to 25 Delassi for one. Green peppers, you will find green peppers, red peppers and yellow peppers, but green peppers tend to be more predominant. You'll find them on every market. And they sell them often three for 50 Delassi or the, if they're smaller than this, um, you might get about two or three for 20, depends. So cassava, again, you can buy that according to your budget. This piece here, well, there was another half to it, um, was 60 Delassi. Aubergine or eggplant, this is just a small one. This was 30 Delassi. Potatoes, um, that's about half a kilo. That's 50 Delassi. And you can find things like potatoes and onions in your local corner store, but these are purchased from the market. Pumpkin, this particular piece was I think 15 Delassi, but you can buy from 10 Delassi to whatever you can afford. And onions, you will find the red onions, but predominantly you'll see this type. They are sold um, by the kilo, and I think it's for half a kilo, 50 Delassi, if my memory serves me correctly. And this here is, they call it turnip here. No, I don't think they call it turnip. I think we call it turnip. I can't remember what they call it here. Um, that was 30 Delassi. I would pop, probably put this in something like soup. Um, you can cook it any way you want to. <clears throat> right, so I'm coming towards the end family. So this, um, they call it white carrot, but it resembles something like it from the turnip or the celeric family. But I put it in soup. It's quite tasty. This most people know is a cabbage. Um, this was 50 Delassi. So remember if it's 60 on average, 60 to the pound on average, maybe you get a little bit more. So then this is nearly a pound, one English pound. So that's probably comparable um, to the cabbage you buy in England because it's about the same sort of purchase price. Purchase price. So this is some of um, the watermelon because it's watermelon season. Um, just imagine it whole. It was 150 Delassi for the whole of the watermelon with seeds, plenty of them. <clears throat> so, so that's the total stash there, so to speak, of um, vegetables and some fruit. I hope they're going to do a tin for it. Uh, so I bought this from... Um, Tipagara market, but there's obviously Seracunda market and other local markets dispersed around. So pricing will be variable 
dependent on where you're shopping. So if you're in very popular areas like Kotu and Kodali, you might find things are slightly more expensive. But then if you travel out, then you're paying petrol. Yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to pay for parking. So it just depends on what you wish to do. But that's just to give you an idea of how much things are in terms of fruits and vegetables on the market. Again, if you purchase them in the supermarket, they'll be much more costly, which stands to reason that's the same in any country. And you'll find on the um, most street corners, you'll see somebody selling the ground nuts, which they call peanuts here or vice versa, and bananas and some local, local sweets. So just to round up, this morning I'm eating Accra, which is locally pounded beans and they're um, slightly fried. They come with a sauce, but which is a bit peppery for me. So I won't indulge in the sauce. Um, and I will just eat them just as they are. Sometimes I warm them, sometimes I don't. Or you can eat it with your breakfast, you can eat it however you wish to eat it, but they're quite tasty. Well, I like them anyway. So that's something that you could try. Here, this is about 90 pence worth. So you don't have to buy that many or that much, whichever the correct grammar is. English language is a bit back to front. However, um, you can generally buy this and they put it inside bread for breakfast time. But I just like to eat them on their own. And I wouldn't normally buy that many. Um, and I certainly wouldn't eat them all at once. But anyway, it's been Dee's Village. I hope you found that vlog interesting. Like, share, comment, subscribe, interact in the comments section. Let me know about your budgeting and what you think and about provisions that you can buy locally. Um, and I always say to myself, when I'm purchasing anything, I convert it back into English currency. And if I wouldn't buy it in the UK, for the price that they're selling in Gambia, then I certainly won't buy it in Gambia. And that's my loose rule of thumb for budgeting and managing my finances because the money can go away, go, it doesn't go away, but you know, it, it's like it burns a hole in your pocket in any country that you, you live in. So just to be mindful about that, set your budget, know what you're going to spend. Oh, that was the window closing. Um, know what you can afford and then that will make things much easier for you in terms of your sustainability and your ability to be able to eat and nourish yourself and keep healthy and hearty. So as I said already, like, share, comment and subscribe, interact in the comments section. If you haven't hit that like button, please do that family. You know it helps with the algorithm and all those other things. So bringing you beautiful fruits and vegetables in the Gambia. Of course there are more, but these are the ones that I just happen to purchase. And if you shop around, you will find different fruits and vegetables in different areas. Um, I bought butternut squash, I bought plantain, I bought yams. So there are lots of things available here. It's just a case of finding out where they are. And absolutely, oh, I think these are possibly my favorite, the grapefruits full of seeds and sweet and juicy and delicious. So that's the end of the vlog. As I always say, remember, it's Dee's Village. Peace out, Cairo. And for those of you that eat eggs, they, there are white eggs here, brown eggs. These are local eggs. And there are 175 delassi for a tray. 5, 10, 15, 20. So there's 30 on a tray. So that's nearly just shy of three pounds for the tray, depending on um, what the, the exchange rate is, because that, it fluctuates, as I keep saying. So depending on where you live, you might find that these foods are inexpensive, they're expensive, they're, they're average prices but it's just to give you an idea but 99.9% .9 of them on this table are very nutritious I mean I know some people are vegan and vegetarian um, so 
eggs will be in their diet. They're generally not in mine. Um, I'm not a, a strict vegan or a strict vegetarian. Those are my preferences, vegan and vegetarian. However, sometimes I will um, have egg. And I must stop saying mm, mm. Seems to be my favorite word. When I listen back to the vlogs, I think you say that quite a lot, but hey ho, it's just a word. So once again, I thought I'd finished, but I remembered my eggs. So peace out, Cairo. Catch you in the next vlog. Hope that's been very useful.